So here I am at the end of round 10. I'm ready to do my final chain five space. So to begin it, we are going to do chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to bring my yarn over. And then in the first single crochet of the round, I will do a half double crochet. And you will work your blue yarn with you if you have two colors. And then complete a half double crochet. Like that. So now we have finished round 10. It will look like this. You will have your chain five spaces. And then you will have five single crochet. Chain five space, five single crochet. And we will begin with a chain one. And then we will do two single crochets into this chain five space. So one. And if you're using one color, just do two single crochets. If you are using two colors, we will do one single crochet and the second single crochet, we will start it off in the white and finish it off with the blue. Now we will, we have five single crochets. We will do one single crochet in each of the five, bringing our second color yarn along with us if you have two colors. So I'm working with my blue and I will do one single crochet in each of the five. One. Two, three, four. For the final fifth single crochet, if I'm changing colors, I will begin my fifth single crochet with the blue, and then I will finish it with the white. Now I have a chain five space and that's chain five space. I will do two single crochet, chain five, two single crochet. Again, bringing my second color with me if I have a second color. Two single crochet, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then two single crochet, one. If I have two colors, I'm gonna change my color on the second single crochet. So I will begin it with the white and finish it with the blue. Like that. And now we're back at our five single crochet. So in our five single crochet, we will do one single crochet in each of those. And five, the fifth one, we will do if you are changing colors, we will change our colors. We will start it with the blue and finish it with the white for our fifth single crochet. And now we are back at the chain five space where we'll do two single crochet, chain five, two single crochet, and then we have the five single crochet where we will do one single crochet in each of those. Just a tip, when you are working your into these chain five spaces, see these strings of the blue if you changed your yarn, you will have these strings here. All you have to do is work them into your next stitch. So put them over your hook along with the blue tail that's attached to the ball so we can work our yarn over, so we can bring our yarn with us. We have the stitches here, yarn over, and do your single crochets. And that'll secure these blue strings here inside of it so you don't see it anymore. So that's only if you change your yarns, you will have that second color there. So that's the pattern all the way around for round 11. We will do, in each of the five, chain five spaces, we will do two single crochet, chain five, two single crochet, and then one single crochet in the next five single crochet, and that'll lead us back to the chain five space. If you are changing colors, your chain five space, you will do two single crochet, chain five, 
two single crochet. In the last single crochet, you will begin with your white, change it, and then finish it with the blue. Then you will do one, two, three, four, five single crochet. And then in the fifth and final single crochet of the five, you will do, you will change your colors. You will begin with a blue and finish with a white. And now you are here in your chain five space where you do two, five, two. Okay, so that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. So here we are at the end of round 11. I finished my two single crochet into this chain five space, and now I'm ready to connect to finish this round. To connect, I will chain three, one, two, three, all in the same color, even if I'm doing two colors. And then I will do a half double crochet into the first single crochet of the round. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first single crochet, Bring our second color over if you have a second color. Pull loop through, three loops on hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. And this creates our final chain five space. Now for round 12. Here we are at the beginning of round 12. For round 12, we will begin with chain one, still in the white if you have two colors, followed by two single crochet into the chain five space that we just made. One single crochet and two. For the second one, if you are changing colors, you will change your colors. Now you will start with the white and change it to the blue. Like that. We have our, we have nine single crochet here. We will do one single crochet in each of the nine single crochet. So once again, if I'm ch if I'm changing colors, I will bring my second color along with me throughout this round. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. For the ninth single crochet, the last one here, if you are changing colors, you will begin with a blue and finish with a white to change our color. Now we are at our chain five space. In our chain five space, we will do two single crochet chain five, two single crochet, like the previous round. So I will do two single crochet, one, two, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two single crochet, one. And if you're changing colors, the second single crochet, you will start it with the white and finish with the blue. And now we are at our nine single crochet once more. In the nine single crochet, we will do one single crochet in each. And that's our pattern all the way around. So the pattern for round 12 is in each of the nine single crochet, you will do one single crochet. When you get to your chain five loop, you will do two single crochet, chain five, two single crochet, and then you're back at your nine single crochet. If you are changing colors in your nine single crochet, the ninth one, the last one, you will start with a blue and finish with a white to change your color. In your chain five loop, two single crochet, chain five, two single crochet. In your last single crochet, you will start with a white and finish with the blue to change your color to blue. So you can work blue in these nine single crochet here. And that's our pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. So here we are at the end of round 12. To finish it off, I have finished my two single crochet in the last chain five space. Now I will do chain three, one, two, three and a half double crochet into the first single crochet of the round. And that will create our last chain five space. There we go. So here we are to begin round 13. To begin round 13, we will chain one, followed by two single crochet into the chain five space that we just made. One single crochet and the second single crochet. If you are changing colors, you will begin with the white and finish with the blue to change your colors. 
Now we will we have 13 single crochet here. We will do one single crochet in each of the 13. Once again for this round continue bringing your second color along with you if you have a second color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. For the thirteenth single crochet, the last one here, we will do we will, if you are changing colors, you will begin with a blue and finish with a white to change our color. Now we are at our chain 5 space. In this chain 5 space, you will do 2 single crochet, chain 5, 1 single crochet, chain 5, 2 single crochet, all in this chain 5 space. So let's begin. 2 single crochet. 1, 2, chain 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 single crochet, chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 single crochet, 1, the second single crochet, we will begin with a white and finish with a blue if you are changing your colors. And now we are at our 13 single crochet. So that's the pattern all the way around. You will do your 13 single crochet and then you will be at your chain 5 space. In the chain 5 space you will do 2 single crochet, chain 5, 1 single crochet, chain 5, 2 single crochet, and then you're back at your 13 single crochet. If you are changing color, you will do your 13 single crochet. In the 13th one, the final one, you will start with a blue and finish with a white to change your color, and then you're at your chain 5 space. You will do Two single crochet, chain five, one single crochet, chain five, two single crochet. In the final single crochet, you will start with a white and finish with a blue to change your color, and then you're back at your 13 single crochet. So that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. So here we are at the end of round 13. I have finished my two single crochet, chain five, single crochet into this last chain five space. To finish it off, I will chain one, followed by a treble crochet into the first single crochet of the round. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that first single crochet, yarn over, pull loop through, four loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that creates our final chain five space. So here we are in round 14. For round 14 we will begin with a chain one, followed by three single crochet in the chain five space that we just created. One, two, three, and then we will chain three. If you're changing colors, we will chain two, and then the third one we will change it to our next color. So I'll do my third chain. So after you do your chain three, we will leave the white yarn and start working in the blue yarn. Now once you're finished your chain three, you will yarn over three times. One, two, three. You have four loops on hook. You will not bring your yarn over for this part. Leave your second color along the side. Skip the next two single crochet. One, two, and then the third one, do a treble crochet. So yarn over pull loop through, five loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Two loops on hook, leave those two loops on your hook. Yarn over three times again, three, skip the next two, single crochet, one, two, and then the third one, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Two loops on hook. Next, we're going to yarn over three times, three, skip the next two stitches, and in the third one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on hook. 
yarn over three times, skip the next two stitches, and then the third one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Four loops on hook, repeat, two, three, skip the next two stitches, and then the third one, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then the, and we're going to do it one more time, yarn over three times, skip the next two, and then the last one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, you should have six loops on hook. Now, if you're changing colors, take your white. If you're not changing colors, you will simply yarn over and pull through all six. Now we will chain three. One, two, three. After your chain three, you have your chain five space here. We will do three single crochet into this chain five space. If you have your second color, you will work it along with us. Bring it on your hook and complete three single crochets. One, two, three. After I do my three single crochet, I will chain four. One, two, three, four. And then I will do three single crochet in the next chain five space, bringing our color with us if we have a second color. Two and three. So that's the pattern all the way around. After you do your three single crochet, you will chain three. Then you will skip the next two single crochet and work your five DTR. That's this. So these five legs, one, two, three, four, five, is your five DTR. You'll so you'll skip the first two single crochet and then the third one, you will work your first leg of your 5 DTR, skip the next two single crochet, and the, and the next one, your second leg, skip the next two, and then the next one, your third, skip the next two, and then your fourth, skip the next two, and then your fifth. Once you're finished your fifth leg, you will have six loops on hook. You will yarn over, pull through all six loops. After that, you will chain three. You will have two single crochet left over, plus your chain five space. Skip these two final single crochet. Work in the chain five space, three single crochet, then you will chain four, three single crochet in the next chain five space, then you will chain three, and you are back at your five DTR. If you are changing colors, after you do your three single crochet, you will chain three. However, in the third chain of chain three, you will change your color. So you do the first two chains in white, the third chain in blue. Then you will skip the next two single crochet, and the third one, you will do your first of your five DTR legs, skip the next two, the second leg, skip the next two, third leg, skip the next two, fourth leg, skip the next two, the fifth leg. Once you're done all your five legs, you will have, then you have six blue loops on your hook. So now you will take your white, yarn over and pull the white through all that six loops. After you pull your white through all this six loops, you will chain three, and then you have two single crochet remaining, ignore those two single crochet, and then you have your chain five space in the chain five space, you will do three single crochet, then you will chain four, and then you will do three single crochet in the next chain five space, and then you will chain three, in which the third chain of chain three, you will change it to blue. And then you're back at your five DTR. So that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. Now just a tip, if you're changing colors, after I have my six blue loops on my hook, I'm going to take the blue yarn and just leave it on the side that's closest to the next part that I'm working on, so right here. And then I will take my white yarn, which is still back here, yarn over, and pull through all six. Then I will chain three. One, two, three. And that'll hopefully keep your shell from bunching up.